Welcome back to Nuffy Cast. We're so glad that you can join us today. Look how playful he is in this spot here. Look at the trust that he has. In today's video, I want to talk about trust and how ways that you can tell if a kitty trusts you. Well, one of the ways that you can tell that's very immediate is that they play with you. Yes, he's not having to feel defensive or protective. He's able just to be relaxed. Look how he's laying down here, all relaxed. If a cat trusts you, they're able to lay down around you. They're able to relax around you. They're able to play. These little tails will oftentimes be able to be more calm around you. They're not going to be bristled up to being like three times their size. If they don't trust you, this is going to be really tight. Even if it were around his body, he'd be holding it really tight. He might even be holding it down and like slunking it down around his feet, but it would be held really tight. Most importantly, you'd be seeing it really poofed up big. Another trait that you can tell is if Phil lets you pet them. Yes, he trusts my hands. He trusts my touch. I am able to pet his fur even while he's in the middle of playing and he doesn't try to bite or scratch my hands. Sometimes, like especially if I've been out of the room for a few minutes, he will rub into my hand. Like if I try to pick him up, sometimes he'll even jump up into my arms. He'll reach up on me and he'll stretch his little paws up for me. Yes, and them reaching up for you, them greeting you also when you come into the house or into the room, when they give you a kitty greeting, that's a definite sign of trust. And they're friendly with you. If they didn't like you, if they, especially if they didn't trust you, they'd run away and they'd hide. Some kitties will do that with people or strangers they don't know. In fact, a lot of kitties will. If, if there's somebody that they don't know, they'll find a spot to hide, like under a bee by in a box or in some place where they can't be seen, and they'll stay there for as long as that person is there. My grandmother years ago used to have a kitty that was very shy of strangers, and and she would hide if if a human being came around. Also, you'll see them, um, if they do ever play with you and bite Chi-Chi, they'll have a soft little bite or a soft little paw. They won't, uh, they won't over fluff. They won't act actually hard bite you. They won't actually hard scratch you like they would do if they were really scared and did not trust you. Yes. Another cute sign that you guys might already recognize is when they purr. When a kitty purrs, that's a distinct sign that they trust you. And when they feel safe enough to ask you for food, whether to beg for food, meowing or otherwise, jumping up on the food or, or meowing for it. Or um, also, I've had kitties even walk me over to their food or water to show me that they want more. Yes, that's a definite sign of trust. They wouldn't do that if they didn't trust you. They would be running away. They might be growling if you were trying to get near their food source or they might be trying to take it away from you. I mean, if you see a lot of growling and a lot of hissing when you're around or other people are around, that's a sign that they don't trust. You'll also notice how his ears are forward. If he weren't feeling safe, those ears would be back and he wouldn't be staying here all relaxed, engaging in play. We'll have more videos about trust too, but I thought that this would be an interesting one for those of you especially that are just getting to know kitties and that don't know them really well yet. Learning how these ones communicate is very important. Making sure that they have a high quality of trust, a high quality of life is very important. Our hands must never ever ever do things that cause them harm but only serve as a space that they are safe with. When they're little kittens and they're handled with trust and care by our big hands. Look how big my hands are up on his body. He's learned that this is something safe. And he always will have this as something safe. That's what they need. These big hands that are so big and were so much larger than them. Oh, he's tired of me touching him. Yes, he wants me to play. Knowing how to communicate with them too and giving them respect where they need really, really does help engender trust. And just appreciating them. Yes. Here you go. If you like the content of our videos, 
paws. Don't forget to take those paws and paw the like button. You can paw the notification bells so that you can see all of Nippy Kids videos and the subscription button. Thank you all so very much, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.